Hello, this is Chris from CricutUsers.com. What I have here is a Huawei Ascend D. I've got the uh, brightness turned really down on this video, so hopefully you can see the screen. Uh, some people definitely were interested in benchmarks and other tests on this device. Today, what we're going to do are benchmarks. We've got uh, four of them uh, to run, and we're going to start with Quadrant Advance. I'm going to go ahead and let this run all the way through the first time and call off the results. I'll also put them in the description of this video and then the second time I'll just fast forward to the results. Alright so if you didn't notice I'm kinda of fast forwarding through a lot of this uh, because this device is a uh, medium to lower end device and it performs a lot slower than like the Galaxy S3's that I've done benchmarks on. So this whole process would probably take like two or three minutes Remember that benchmarks are only one indicator of performance. Uh, sometimes a device can score lower than another device, but in daily use it'll just feel like it's running better. The keys down here really do remind me of the Motorola Expert or Pro. They kind of angle up in one corner. The left side of the keyboard angles up towards the right and vice versa for the right side angles up towards the left. You have to click the alt buttons to reach the numbers and symbols and there's the capitalization button. So this device scored a total of 1897. It's listed right here above the HTC Desire HD and the Samsung Nexus S. CPU 1,283, memory 1,397, I/O 4,197, 2D 683, and 3D 1,823. Go ahead and run that one more time. Like I said, I'll fast forward to the end. All right, second result was total 1,684, CPU 1,387, memory 1,499, I/O 4,022, 2D 678 and 3D 833. The next benchmark we will be running is Linpack. As you can see this is running Android 2.3. Uh, carrier IQ detector did not detect that Carrier IQ was on this device. As it says right there, your device does not have Carrier IQ. Here's Linpack. This is only a single core device so we will run single thread. 20.383 with a time of 4.11 seconds. Second run, 20.104 with a time of 4.17 seconds. Alright, now let's go to Nina Mark II. All right, it registered a speed of 26.4 frames per second, which is actually the highest run that I've had with this device. Now let's run Browser Mark. All right, the score was 56,553. I'm going to run it one more time because of the Facebook notifications that came in. Alright, the second result was 52,681. The next video on this device will outline uh, how a few programs and games function on the device. I'll go ahead and throw in the multi-touch test. So multi-touch is what's required to pinch zoom and do some other things. Um, some devices can detect like 10 points or eight points. Uh, this one, just two. Maybe that's an indicator of how sensitive the screen is. Maybe not. 
sometimes you don't really need to register more than two points. I mean, that's all that's required to pinch zoom. But it is, in fact, a multi-touch device because it can register more than one touch on the screen. All right, so for more information about this device and Cricut Wireless in general, please like these videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Cricut users, and visit my website at cricketusers.com. Thanks a lot.